Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Scout Tactical Channel. Tonight, a pack review from a legendary company, but not quite. So tonight, the SOG Tactical Day Pack, they call it the Ninja, and I found it at Walmart. As you guys know, if you watch my other videos, I love SOG knives. I have their folders, I have their fixed blades. Easily one of my top knife companies of all time, and I have Benchmades and Cold Steels and lots of other knives that I like, but I love SOG. I rarely find anything of theirs that I don't like, I'll put it that way. So I was real stunned that when I was in Walmart about a month ago, I saw the SOG backpack. And you see it says SOG there, and it has the little SOG logo in the Velcro. They have several different models. They had a big one, they look, uh, they had a little one and a middle one, they look a lot like 5.11 packs. And that's what initially caught my eye, because I'm a 5.11 guy too, as you guys have seen. I've done reviews on the Rush 24, Triab 18, the Rush 72, I like 511 gear. I also have done the Moab 6 and the Moab 10, and I EDC the Moab 10 every day in my law enforcement role. So I'm a SOG guy, I'm a 511 guy, and this is very 511-ish with the SOG name on there. So I was kind of stunned. Also being a dealer, I didn't understand exactly what was going on here because I'd never seen these packs on the SOG website. Now they do branch out into some Tomahawks. You've seen I, I've done one of the Tomahawks. They have uh, the SOG Lights, the Dark Energy series. I've reviewed those. They have uh, several little accessories. That are, and even the multi-tools that aren't exactly, you know, necessarily their meat and potatoes, fixed blade or folder knife market. Got something on there. So I looked again on the web. Sure enough, they're not there. These don't exist, but it definitely says SOG right there, as you can see. So what's going on here? Well, what it is, I've, I've done a little research, and it's a licensed product, which is what I kind of figured when I bought it. It's SOG, but it's not made by SOG. It's made by Outdoor Research Group, which is a group that does a whole bunch of Walmart gear, which is good and bad. A lot of people have, especially my age, late 30s, early 40s, they think of the Walmart fall apart was the old phrase back in the day. But you know, Walmart's come a long way. So what's happened here? SOG has allowed a business deal with Outdoor Research. They've allowed their name to be put on these new packs. They seem like good packs. I haven't had any problems yet. Are they 100,000% SOG through and through? Uh, probably not, because they're not really made by SOG. But they do seem to be a good product. So with that said, let me show you a little bit about the bag. Again, they have a big one that looks just like the 511 Rush 72. They have this one, and then I saw a medium one, and I saw several duffel bags as well. So it seems like quite a lineup, and I'm sure different Walmarts will be a little different. To give you an idea, you've seen at Walmart the Winchester branded products or the Remington branded products in the hunting area, well, those aren't actually made by Winchester. Those aren't actually made by Remington. It's the same type of deal. The exact same company, Outdoor Research Group, has licensed the rights to use that name on some of the products. And I have seen in a couple of forums some SOG employees saying that they at least do review the products for a little bit to at least say yes or no. So the initial design. I don't think that they're testing them or anything like that, but I think that they at least had a a touch of input. Now why SOG has never gotten into their own packs, I don't know, but again, that's what they're good at. And I guess that's what they're sticking with, and I'm okay with that. So without further ado, the pack is small. I got this pack because a few weeks ago, or actually a couple months ago, I was on a hunting trip. I wore my Moab 10. I loaded it down with a little too much gear because I was out for the whole day with my brother. I had lunch. I had uh, some emergency overnight gear in case we got lost out there. We were on a brand new Army Corps of Engineers property we had never hunted. And uh, so I had a little too much in the 511 Moab 10, which as you know is single strap on the backpack part. It's just a one strap, you know, that messenger bag style strap. Well, it was eating me, to li eating me alive all day long. I was uncomfortable. Um, it wasn't the greatest of hike. We did like two on the GPS. I think we did 2.6 miles in. And then we, in, a, in the midst of all that, it was a fairly cut trail out of the woods, but it was knee-high grass, so you're sludging through that the whole way, um, you know, dodging all the stuff. We we've came across a huge copperhead, all that stuff, all day. Plus, we're looking around. Plus, we have our bows. We have the packs. We had extra water. 
some food with us. You know, it was just a long day with that single strap. It was eating my left shoulder to death. So I was pretty miserable. We did about three miles on the way back because we went a little bit different way. And uh, all in all, I was worn out. So I told myself, you know what? I'm going to need an affordable, small, double strap, traditional style backpack. And that's what this is. It is yoked. It reminds me a lot of the 5, uh, 511 Rush 12, which is one of the only 511 packs I don't have. I do have the Triab 18, which is in the middle of the 12 and the 24. So what you get with this is the number one best-selling part of this, $29.97, if you can believe that. So on the 511 packs, as you know, most of those things are $79.99, $129, $179, depending on the model you buy. That's a $100 bag all day. But it does have the quality, I will say. You do get what you pay for, but this little guy appears to be good to go. It's small, it's lightweight, it's molly compatible, it's made out of what appears to be 500D instead of 1000D, so it's not overly heavy or overly stout on the material. It appears to be a well-made made, uh, pack for $30. So that's amazing. Their big one's only $45. Even more amazing considering that the Rush 72 that it looks just like is 150. And again, can't beat the 511 quality. You can't beat the SOG knife quality, but we jury's still out on the SOG bags. So far I've only used it on one hunt, but it did fine. And for 1,475 cubic inch, so nice and small. Now, a lot of you guys are thinking in your head you could use this for a lot of things. A go bag, a get home bag, all kinds of little stuff, your EDC bag, your go to office bag. And then, of course, this one's in what they call digital sand camo, but, um, you know, I, they may make some. I saw some solid tan, which may be a little more appropriate for an urban environment. And uh, maybe they even have one in black, because I saw that the duffel bags were in black at the store that I was at, at my local store. Okay, real 5.11-ish, as I mentioned, it has the front pocket, it has the inner pocket, and then it has an upper pocket. Now, you know the Rush series has those two half moon-shaped pockets up here. This has one solid pocket, nothing inside. It's just a solid little pocket that's as deep as it appears to be, okay? On the front, you have the organizer pocket, which most of the, again, 511 bags have, and this is a la 511 if you've ever used one. It has the dual retainers, the keepers for the keys, dual insert pockets here, little pin organizer pockets, although my 511 is divided off into some smaller sections. Bigger pockets here, a larger pocket here, and a zip pocket here. So all your organized gear goes up front. The GPS, the little radio, your ham radio, anything that you're using and you want to get too quickly would be here. But at 1475, of course you're not carrying that much gear with you, but perfect for a day hike, a day hunt, an office EDC, something like that. And again, get a different color if the camo bothers you, which, and, and, and I'll give you that, the camo wouldn't necessarily be appropriate in most corporate environments, but okay. You move on the top and you have a sunglasses pocket, which is what that's called. Of course, you can do your cell phone in there and it's kind of felt lined. So it's nice and soft in there for your screen of your uh, smartphone. You can throw your GoPro in there, whatever you're needing that might need a little protection like sunglasses. It is hydration compatible. It has a nice double stitched handle on the top. It has the dual poke throughs for the, uh, or pass-throughs for the uh, water bladder, if you put one in there. And on the inside, you see your little load-bearing straps, which are good. Again, it's almost the same <laughs> stitching pattern as a 511. It's so similar. But on the inside, it opens up to two uh, mesh zipper pockets, which is 511-ish. And then it has the big insert sleeve. Now, that's where your uh, water bladder can go if you want it in there. You throw that in there, you make the cord or the hose poke through. This is just your, there's your keeper for it right there. There's where it goes. And again, just a pocket inside here with the two meshes. So good to go. Now on the side, something that's not always on the 511 packs is uh, the Molly, but the water bottle pocket. And I like that. Because on my 511, for example, the Rush 24, I had to add a 511 Hydro pocket, the H2O pocket on the outside, which is another 20 something dollars. But this already has the water bottle pocket built in. So if you don't want a um, hydration bladder, which some guys don't like them, I don't mind them. 
uh, you can just run a water bottle in there and you can cram two of the little bitty uh, bottles in there or one big one liter or something like that of course it can go in your pack but then as it sweats condensation it's going to get some of your gear damp that could be a problem if you're taking a book with you for the day or something like that that doesn't need to get necessarily wet so that's it, it that's the pack it has a uh, molly on the side molly on the front molly on the other side completely so you can strap your knife another pouch a little first aid kit the 511 3.6 med kit trauma kit with your tourniquet maybe like i had on the moab 10 and you got a good pack it's very capable it's very sturdy feeling i've not torn it i'm not showing it anywhere off the one time i've used it so far and i plan to use this for the entire deer season this year 2014 2015. now on the back it doesn't have a hip belt, but most of the 511 packs, most of the field line and the other small packs of Blackhawks don't have one either in this size. Again, 1,475, which is 1,475, which I believe uh, 22, I wrote it down, 24.2 <laughs> liters. So you have, uh, you don't need a, a belt on something that small because you're not going to get that much weight in the pack, probably, unless you're just carrying, you know, lead bars or something. The pack does have the yoke style right here harness, which is comfortable because it doesn't pinch on you. But I will say, first, when you pick it up, you immediately notice that it's a lot less padding than the Blackhawk and then the 511s. It has the channel here, which has become kind of trendy to only pad you know portions of it where you have the channel for air to keep it off of you however this is not very thick and it rides immediately to your back so this doesn't work in my opinion on this pack because it doesn't have enough padding but it does have plenty of padding to keep anything sharp or what have you uh, uh, kind of angled that's inside the pack off of your back so it is comfortable to carry but the air channel not necessarily a win in this case because again not enough padding and definitely not as much padding in the straps though they were comfortable but they're just a little in there very very thin as compared to some of the other ones you do have an adjustable sternum strap here i like it and it's the bungee style which I really like, so you can adjust it and it moves a little with you. It's not completely squishing you when you're walking. So that's the pack, guys. $29.97, 1,475 cubic inches. The Sog Ninja, definitely a win in my book. We'll use it all season, review this in the winter, or in the, in the late winter, January, February, just to see how it held up. I'll give you a secondary update. Guys, as always, check out all the channels. Remember, Scout Tactical is a three-channel network. It's part of Scout Tactical, Scout Prepper, and Scout Hunter. Look at all three channels on YouTube. Subscribe. Keep the views coming. I appreciate that. Check us out on the web at scouttactical.com. Uh, Facebook is the same as the channel name, so it's Scout Tactical Channel, Scout Prepper Channel, Scout Hunter Channel. You'll see all the pages there. And as always, thanks for watching.